Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to RVTV. I hope you're all well. Finally, it's the weekend. Can't wait. First game of the Premiership season against Southampton at White Hart Lane, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll start off shortly uh, with the Spurs lineup. Um, there's been a little bit of news in regards to injuries and niggles. So um, it'll be Loris starting in goal, Sanchez, Dyer, and Romero at the back. Apparently, Davis is not 100% fit. They think he'll probably be on the bench. Uh, Sessegnon on the left. Again, the same thing with Perisic. He's not 100% ready on the bench. Um, right back, Emerson Royale. Doherty, again, not 100% fit, and I'm not even sure that he's number one choice. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, Spence will be on the bench, can get on and, uh, and prove his worth. Uh, in the middle, Hoybia and Bentacor. Basuma has got a knock out for a couple of days, maybe back on the bench, I don't know. Uh, Sun, Kane and Kulisewski up front. Um, I think we've probably got enough firepower to uh, do Southampton. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, they are very, they play high intensity football. They're good at pressing. Um, Mahasa Hootel's tactics are press, 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 run, and then get the ball up as fast as possible. Wouldn't say long ball, but quite direct um, football. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, I want to talk about Southampton a little bit. Um, first of all, in regards to what the business they've done over the summer, uh, they brought in six players. Two goalkeepers, um, a centre back, a central midfielder, a defensive midfielder, and a centre forward. The only two players I've really heard of uh, are Joe Rebo, who comes from Glasgow Rangers, and uh, Bazunu, who comes from Man City's under 23s. Um, four of those players are 20 or under, so I'm not sure if he's building for the future or if he's thinking of chuck chucking them straight in. They uh, only lost during the summer, Forster to us and Shane Long. I think he's retired. I'm not sure. He's probably gone and played China or the US or something like that. Um, so it probably is a little bit more for the future. Um, their injuries are Walnut. <laughs> Can't stand that bloke. Uh, Teller and Livramento. Uh, Livramento, very highly rated. Had a good first season. I think it was the first or second season playing for the Saints last year. Um, so that's a, obviously not a bonus for him, but that's a bonus for us. My predicted lineup um, between McCarthy and Bazanu in goal. Uh, the right wing back will be Walker Peters. Welcome back, Kyle. Lovely chap. Met him once at the uh, Next Gen tournament in Amsterdam. Very polite young man. Couldn't believe it. I thought he was going to say, You're right, lad. Uh, but no, he was really polite, really nice. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, decent wing back. I'm not sure that we should have sold him. Uh, I know he, he wasn't in Poch's plans. Um, I th yeah. I'm not going to harp on about that whole thing. Uh, so we need to be careful against him. Oh, as a left wing back, they are probably going to play De Gineppo. Uh, he's more of a winger, or was more of a winger, beginning of last season. Towards the end, he was starting to be played as a left wing back. Um, great going forward. Still juries out on his defending. So if he does play, we can get him. Um, Peru, Perud, I think their normal left wing back is an uh, injury doubt. So, uh, but he might play as well. Don't know an awful lot about him. I seem to remember he was quite decent when they beat us last season. Um, centre backs, you've got Bednarek. Good in the air, bit wobbly on the floor, so we can definitely get at him. Bella Kotchap, who's one of their newbies, uh, who's come from um, Bochum in Germany. 20 years old, 10 million euros, so what's that, about 8 million quid. Uh, don't know a lot about him. He's one of the newbies, so you have to see if he, if he sinks or swims. Uh, hopefully he'll sink. Um, then... Salisu, as well as a centre-back. 
I remember last season in one of the matches we played him, he got away with an awful lot. I thought he should have been yellow carded or even red carded. He was, he was lively. I don't think it was the last game. I think it was the game at their place. Uh, I think he was substituted because he was going to get sent off. He was proper dirty. He was winding our players up uh, and uh, proper horrible little fouls. So let's hope we can wind him up, get sent off tomorrow. Um, they play with three in the centre, Ward Prowse. As we all know, we really don't want to be giving away too many free kicks close to the area. He really punished us in the last game, I believe, setting up both of them there. Their goals to take them to 3 2, and ultimately they saw the game out, even though Stevie's last minute disallowed goal, I think, was a bit contentious. Uh, but that's VAR for you. Uh, Romeo, competitive, compet combative, uh, experienced. Don't think he's a great player, but yeah, he'll be. He's, he's a difficult player to play against. And then Lavia, who's one of their newbies from City under 23s. I know. Very little about that guy, so again, sink or swim. Uh, up front, they'll have uh, Stuart, Armstrong playing, uh, Stuart Armstrong playing as a supporting striker, who um, has caused us problems before. Don't think he's that prolific scoring, as uh, isn't his uh, partner in crime, who's Adam Armstrong, who I think he's got two goals in 23 games since he joined Southampton. Not exactly... Um, Someone you want to be leading your line. Uh, but now I've said that, they're probably going to go and score a hat-trick. Uh, anyway. Um, it's thought that Hasenhut will start with a 5-3-2 formation, as I just stated. Um, they are a heavy press inside and very direct with their passes. Um, the intensity means we need to be our game, but I think we can... We, Definitely have the tools to thoroughly beat these guys. Um, so my prediction is going to be 3-1 Spurs, Sun Kane and Kulu. Uh, one of the Armstrongs for a consolation. Um, and we will get off to a winning start in the new season. Uh, transfer news. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot. There's certain people saying Madison is on, then Madison is off again. Last I heard it was off, then someone else has said it's on. Still interesting, Zaniola and uh, Paqueta. I heard something about a Parides guy from uh, Paris Saint-Germain in a swap for, or uh, with uh, Tanganga going the other way. I uh, also heard there's other interests for Tanganga in, uh, from Inter Milan. I'd like to see the guy stay. I think he's a decent player. In my, in my mind, he's still young but people seem to write players off by the age of 23 these days uh, if they haven't burst onto the scene and, uh, and played like Messi. I'd um, like to give a, a big shout out to Johnny Einstein. I uh, had a chat with him the other day and he's going to hopefully help me out a little bit on the, the podcast things uh, to make this a little bit more of a better experience with pictures uh, and doing live shows, etc., so big up yourself, John, and thank you very much for taking my Southampton ticket uh, for your nephew. I hope he enjoys it. Um, yeah, everybody, have a lily white weekend, and let's hope we come away with three points tomorrow. Come on, you Spurs, can't smile without you. You know me!